celebs, you just start to tire a little bit. There's confirmation that Ricky Whittle, best known for his role in Hollyoaks, has replaced Martin O'Fire. The former star of the Union Ant League in the rugby game. Look at this possessed by Silla. Turn to Celtic Park has given away a penalty. Campbell. Brazier is now out of position. This is Thompson. Butler's touch. Pete Riley back to Nicky Byrne. He went for the far post. He's still dreaming of that grandchild moment. And scoring for Celtic. One or two gaps just starting to appear in the back line of the United side. And unlike the, the pre match talk from Gordon Strachan, where he told them to keep tight and just starting to get out of position, Steve. Jeff Brazier coming forward, couldn't get back, big gap in the right back position. Really got to stay in your position, conserve your energy a little bit. You know, I hope somebody's told these lads it's 90 minutes. Anthony O'Neill is talking to auction winners through there who bid to become his assistants for the night. It's Brazier. Confident play taking on Petta. Oh, he's out of position again, Steve. Big hole in that right back position again. Bobby Petta for Celtic. Larson peeling away at the back post. Fortune has to make this. It still might come to Larson. away remember tonight is all about supporting the famine in East Africa if you'd like to make a donation all the details across the bottom of your screen right now is it going to be third time lucky for Nicky Byrne created the opening struck Brazier away by Dublin This is York. Scored one and set up the other. Little. Very congested at the moment. United legends. Darren Campbell is onside, and there are two waiting. Chris Sutton was in the way. Best back play from one United for a while now. Gerard Butler. Time to try and pick his spell. And that wasn't the spot which he desired. Well, he certainly is tired in Gerard Butler. To barely pull his right leg back there to cross that ball into the box here's Larson trying to feed Petter still Petter very nearly made it 2-2 two -two. Well, it really should be about four apiece up to now Steve with the chances we've had at both ends and lovely through ball from Henrik Larson into the path of Bobby Petter and not very often would he miss from there goals in his professional Celtic career for Bobby Petter Simon Webb from the band Blue and we also remember him from the 
jungle a few years ago another Manchester born player is going to replace the scorer with the second goal Darren Campbell Of Nicky Byrne. Little. Keen. Still got it for a key. This is Whittle. Need to show off his skills. He's won it back from Manchester United. Webb. Back to Keane. Seven Premier League titles with Manchester United. He only managed the 13 games for Celtic in the end, but he did play an hour and win the League Cup with them. He was actually replaced in that final by this man, Dion Dublin, in his short spell with Celtic, and he actually scored the final goal in that particular League Cup win. No great surprise to you to see the substitutions that have been made. All celebrities, Darren Campbell, Mark Nafaya, Steve Collins. Well, let's hear from one of the men who've just left the action. Darren Campbell, he's with Ned. He is indeed one of the heroes of the evening. So far, there's probably 60,000 people who disagree with you at the moment. It's all going rather well, isn't it, Darren? Yeah, no, it's fantastic. Listen, it's uh, great to be here. Obviously, it's a fantastic turnout. 60,000 people uh, come out to support, but obviously, they, they don't want us to win. Um, but, hey, we, we started off well. Um, I missed a couple of chances, and then Yorkie put me through. So. That's quite a front three uh, of, of Fire, Campbell and York, isn't it? It works. <laughs> Yeah, the gaffer said um, at the start of the game, he just said, right, we've got our pace up front and uh, that's what we'll rely on. And in fairness, we've been playing some pretty decent football. Yeah, I mean, the pundits, the pre-match predictions didn't give you a chance because Celtic have got so many more players on their books and you guys are drawn from all over the place. Yeah, I have to say, we, we were on the coach and um, I was at the back with Roy Keane and uh, we were saying, you know, uh, we, we'll be lucky to get, uh, get through this without getting battered. So to go 2-0 up and then, uh, you know, give away a penalty, we, we're still in it. Um, I think second half will be difficult for us because we haven't got a big squad, but we'll yeah, keep going. On the other hand, Darren, you've got Roy Keane. Just watching him in the middle of the park scary, isn't it? He's still the same player he was. He, he was scary on the bus. He went, listen, um, it's just for fun. And then he went, no, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, he, he hasn't changed. But I, I think for all of us, all the celebrities to be on the, on the pitch with, with such great former footballers and to be in Celtic Park, listen, it's a dream come true. So... You know, uh, we're all going to have the, the, a great time and just enjoy it. Oh, brilliant. Have you seen the last of you? Is that it? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, all right, excellent. We'll look forward to seeing you next right, time. Thank you. you. Darren Campbell in good form. Apologies for the bad language on the touchline there, incidentally, as well. Good to know that Roy Keane hasn't changed, Lou. Well, I spoke to him before the game, Steve, and he didn't scare me. Nice fella, Roy. People probably get the wrong impression of Roy. Roy's a good man, good fella. I might agree with you there, wholeheartedly. Just perhaps you and I haven't actually been a teammate of his, so we may have a different opinion. I'm not saying I don't want you to be a teammate of him. <laughs> That's different, Steve. In from Larson, well watched by Fortune, away by Dublin. Ryan McClare has just become the most unpopular man in Celtic Park having the audacity to challenge Henrik Larsson like that. And the many goals that he scored for Celtic, Brian McClare, and now they're booing him. He scored plenty anyway, Steve. 99 in 145 games. And his record for Manchester United was similar. Reminder, if you'd like to donate to the cause tonight, the details again on your screen. And let's not lose sight of the fact that it's a magnificent cause to support famine in East Africa. 
Leclerc again. And he actually left Celtic for Manchester United. He wasn't too popular at that time either. It proved to be a bad decision, though, did it? Yeah, it did fantastic for Manchester United. Same as he did here at Celtic Park. Did brilliant for Celtic. 68 games in Manchester United Red. And goal, Steve, you know. You're really testing me tonight, aren't you? Sorry, but you're the man with the stats. Here comes Larson first. A rare heavy touch from him. Should point out he's only just ahead of you. You're in the 400s as well in your Manchester United career. Strange the amount of people actually left Celtic and gone on to play for Manchester United over the years. Simon Webb for Manchester United. Up to York. He went for the return from Brian McClare and he was fouled by Boyd. They are taking it serious, me all being Tom Boyd arguing with the referee about the decision. Celtic are making a change, and the lead vocalist from the Scottish band, The View, Kyle Faulkner, and is about to come on. And so too is Lubo Moravcic, the Slovakian. So one member of the band, the view departs, as well as Bobby Petter. Pete Riley goes off and he's replaced by his bandmate Kyle Faulkner, who actually has a cousin in the Celtic youth team at the moment, Lewis Toshny, who made his debut for the first team last season. And the Slovakian Lubo Moravcic, very popular figure in these parts. And it's the replacement for Bobby Petter. That's wrong again towards Larson, who got the other side of Dublin. And then the effort from Moravcic, who's just been introduced. Uh, starting to get away from central defenders now, Henrik Larsson. Starting to pull them all over the place. Needs pass back to Moravcic. A little flick over the crossbar. Signed by Dr. Joseph Venglos. Lubo Moravcic. Big favourite here at Celtic Park, Steve. Did exceptionally well. 46 now, and currently the under-17 coach of the Slovakian national team. Back in his homeland. And you can tell he's got the ball again. Thompson. Away by Dublin. Faulkner. Inadvertently found Butler. That's not the worst cross. And it's headed behind by Simon Work. And that's a Celtic Legends corner. It was a good cross from Gerard Butler, unfortunately. No Celtic player at the back post. Can they create anything from this? Larson almost took that away from me, Albi. Chance for Ricky Whittle to stretch his legs. And Whittle's ball almost found quite good. The Celtic fans appreciating Packy Bonner's quick feet. He came out quicker there than he did when he was playing for me, Steve. Magic Moravcic with the cross. Fortune in ahead of Larson. This is Fortune and Dublin a lot busier in the last ten minutes. Well, I think they're going to be certainly a lot busier in the second half as well. Henrik Larson looks lively and bright and looks very, very fit. Good run by Silla. That was deflected. And fairly comfortable for Patrick Kilty. 